This is going to be a DNU story, and it is coming out of Germantown, Maryland, which hits close home to me. Not so close home to me, but ho- close home to me because it's in the same state that I am in. Now, I just recently did a video about a man who was released from jail because of the virus and how he went and found the person who accused them of rape, found them and killed them and then tried to kill himself. And how pissed I was in that video. Y'all can hear it in my tone. Well, this one right here is almost similar to that exact story, except the person that he killed was no one that he knew. This was just some random person. So this person's name is Justin Wilson, and he was he's a 26 year old. He was in jail who was released because of the virus. I don't know what got him in jail, but I'm sure we'll find out as I read the article. But anyway, he ended up stabbing a 63 year old man to death late last month in July. Now, what's crazy is the fact that both of the men that that I talked about this one in one of the previous video both were in jail they both got released because of the virus they both killed someone and they both killed the 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 people that they killed their victims were both killed late july now i don't know when this guy was released but if they say he was released in april then it's like it's crazy how this stuff is just lining up because i think they released some of those inmates around the same time so i won't be surprised if i read in this article it says that he got released in april as well I wouldn't be so surprised if they were in the same prison, but we'll find out. Let's go ahead and um, read more into this. A man accused of stabbing a 63 year old man to death late last month in Germantown got out of jail earlier this year due to the virus concerns. 26 year old Justin Wilson of Germantown faces first degree murder charges after the July 23rd death of 63 year old Edigio Lindsay, also of Germantown. Now the other one, he killed his victim on July 31st, which was literally set seven days. Well, not seven days, eight days apart, about a week apart. Court records show a Montgomery County judge in April released Wilson from jail where he was awaiting trial on theft and other charges. So he really didn't have severe violent charges attached to him. Unlike that other one who should have had, they should have kept his ass in jail. Now that I think about it, should have kept him in jail too. But you know what's so crazy? There was a live stream that I saw a couple months ago, and shout out to um, the Angry Man, because he actually had brought up a good point where you're going to have a lot of people who are going to get released from jail because of the virus, and they'll be able to blend in with society, especially with the wearing of the mask and everything like that. These two stories that I have just brought to you, this one and the one previously is starting to show that. So I'm going to need everyone to be as careful as they possibly can, because these inmates, these dangerous individuals, are about to are blending in with society and the fact of the matter is like this guy just had a lust must have had a lust for the kill and i wouldn't i'm willing to bet that he was trying to steal from this man that man probably f- tried to fight him off and even though he was 63 years old don't sleep on them people who are up in age they got some strength in them too and what happened is one thing led to another and this man killed him it says uh Jails throughout the country have released inmates this year in an attempt to slow down the spread of the virus, but Wilson is now the latest local suspect accused of violent crime following an early release. Police of Virginia earlier said this week, now this is going into the story I just did, said that a rape suspect who was released from jail in the wake of the virus pandemic went on to kill the woman who had accused him. Montgomery County police say one of Lindsay's relatives woke up July 23rd to see Lindsay struggling with Wilson, who was holding a knife. That's what I thought. It was a struggle. Lindsay later died from stab wounds at a nearby hospital. The relative told Wilson, told police Wilson was in the home three or four weeks earlier. Several silver coins were missing from the home following Wilson's visit. Police say they arrested Wilson on July 28th in Stafford County, Virginia. He sure made his way pretty far from Germantown because Stafford County, that's kind of down there. But um, they said that he was in the home. So did he, the thing is, did he try to break into the home before or was he invited into the home? Like, did he make his presence be known to me? It sounds like the guy was was scoping out the place to see what he could find. And that's when he made his move. And they said he stole several silver coins prior to that. So it sounds to me like he came back to get more. So I don't know if he was allowed to be in the home or if he broke into the home the first time and nobody was there. And this time when he came back, somebody was there. They tried to stop him. 
and you know it was a no win battle because even at the end of the day, even though that you know the guy was sixty three, and he probably put up a fight, in which it sounds like he did, he was no match for this twenty six year old who just by looking at his picture, he might have a a I don't know what it. Is. Let's just put it this way: twenty six versus sixty three. He has the stamina build to most likely fight this guy off, and then he had a weapon, so that definitely gave him an upper advantage. But it's a crazy story all the way around. But this is what we're in right now. They who they who knows who they released from these prisons. What they should have done. When they were going to release these people from prison, what they should have did is for every prison that is near people, like who, whatever prison is in close proximity to you, what they should have done was alert the residents and let the people know who live in the community or live within a radius of those prisons in which they were releasing people from because of the virus. Let them know who they were releasing. That way we could have a name and we can have a face. That way we know who to look out for when this stuff, you know, just in case. But by them just releasing them and you don't know who they released, you don't know what kind of crime they did to get up in there, and you just put them back out there into society because of this virus, now you're going to have situations like this. I'm expecting more of this to happen. The crazy part about this is I'm surprised it did not happen sooner. But I know why it didn't. It's because when they were released back in April... It was a complete lockdown. Nobody was really outside except to go get essential items from the grocery store. And that's about it. So it wasn't a lot of people outside. But notice that a lot of the stuff that's happening is happening over the summer. Why? Because a lot of more people are outside and they're easy. They're easy prey. But like I said, the fact that these prisons did not alert the residents of the people that live in those communities close to these prisons did not tell them who was getting out by face and by name. Now they blended in with society. And you don't know if you're standing next to a person who has not been in jail versus a person who has been in jail and got released and for probably a violent crime. And they probably be the one that's probably going to try to do something to you. So that was they should have did that on their own due diligence, at least to alert the people of who they were about to release because I could have came, like I said in the previous video, I could have easily came across this guy walking down the street or just saw him in passing. And I wouldn't have known he was just another person. Like I said, in the previous video, that guy, like they said, he was in PG County. That's, <laughs> that's real close. To, that That is dead spot on close to me. Like I said, I could have seen him. And would not know any different, like, oh, that's just another person, you know? Hey, it is what it is. But when they don't tell you, you'll never know. So, yeah, it's messed up what happened to this guy. Off my condolences to him and his family. And this guy definitely is going back to jail now for certain. No matter if it's a virus or not, he he now he now he has even more attached to his name. And the thing is, what makes it so stupid is because this guy literally got a second chance. Like, they literally released you from prison early for theft. I don't know how many years that was on his, you know, he was going to have to serve. But now that he has this murder charge, which is in the first degree, you're definitely looking at life behind bars. But see, like I said, many of them cannot be rehabilitated. They just have the lust to do whatever it is they do. Like the guy that got released from jail for uh, for raping that woman, he went back to kill her. I wouldn't be surprised if he went back there to try to rape her again. Because the first time, it's a strangulation, so he tried to kill her the first time. After the rape. I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to rape her again. I wouldn't be surprised if he did rape her again and then successfully killed her this time. So he went back and finished off what he did. This guy was a thief. The only difference this time is he actually took someone's life. So he stole, he stole inanimate material and he stole someone's life so all i'm gonna say is this everybody out there who's listening to the sound of my voice be extra cautious when it comes to situations like this because now with them being released you you really can't tell who is who now 